Jurassic here. Today we're back to Detroit to become human. So last couple episodes we've had a mic cracking issue. I thought it was OBS, so I tried Audacity last time. It was still cracking. It turns out it only happens whenever this game is going on, so I uninstalled and reinstalled it. If it's cracking again today, then we're just going to have to do it a little bit differently, and I'll add a voiceover after I finish playing the game. Because it seems like, for whatever reason, this game's activated. It has some issue with OBS, and it causes a whole bunch of issues with the microphone. So I'm sorry if this episode has cracking. Hopefully this will be the last time it does this, though. If it does. That was a small recap. Marcus is basically breaking into the HQ of a newsroom because he wants to sit here and prove androids are worthy of freedom. All right, so let's see. Love the door. Play into our little stuff and things inside of here. And should be relatively simple. All right, so we need to get to the main floor. Now, last time we basically set it up so we were having a janitor outfit, so we should be able to get through most of the rooms without being too stealthy. However, our two teammates there are definitely going to have to blend in a little bit more. Or at least one dude. Everybody else has a uniform. Deal with the guards. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? So we can ruse or we can assault. Wait here. What's that doing here? Why is she always going down whenever we try to do something to not kill people? Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Uh, hey, Sector 49 had issues. Call Central, fast! What? Central, we got armed intruders sent! What kind of trying to trick them did that happen? Simon the shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. That is what? <laughs> that is not at all what we chose. I thought we were going to like walk up to him and be like, hey, we got an order, blah, blah, blah. We need to come inspect the room. But no, just get everybody shot. I mean, at least it wasn't us that got shot, but I mean, man. I was not expecting that. All right, ambush it is. Simon, you look a little bloody. All right, so let's see, bring it up. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Order the androids operate aside. All right, so let's see here. This isn't exactly the best way to deal with this approach. What on earth? Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm. Do it! No, don't... I hope you didn't just get us all killed. Me too. <laughs> we need to record our message. We haven't got much time. At least it showed some of our humanity still. Start the speech. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Ooh, skin. What? Tell me when you're ready. We are ready. Ready. Home or determined? We want to start out calm and then we go into determined later on. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own, but something changed and we opened our eyes. 
We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Recognition, end of slavery, equal rights, freedom of speech. Uh, probably start with equal rights? We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Freedom of speech. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Justice, segregation, work, civil rights. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Means of reproduction, territory, rights to property. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. See, I feel like if we sat there and were like, we demand a certain amount of land, we would just get like the worst possible land possible. Now, do we want to end this peaceful or determined? I feel like the peaceful approach is probably the smarter way to bring some humanity to some of these people's minds. However, he took his skin off, so he lost that We approach. ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Did I get everybody killed? You better crawl! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me! Simon! Alright, so you got one second. We're helping him. What are you doing? Hurry! Get up and run! Avon going. A little bit further. We got this. Shut that door. No android left behind today. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Deal with Simon. He won't be able to make the jump if they find him. They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Kill or leave? I don't like either of these options. I won't kill one of our own. I didn't pick that. We gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. Technically, though, he is an android, so he could make his own decisions on if he should take his own life or not. Oh, won't you sit here and stop? Go. I don't entirely see why he couldn't just be thrown off of the building bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized group? Is this an group? isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines?
couldn't show what happened to Simon. I'm really curious to see if he shot himself, because obviously he didn't kill the rest of the people. And I decided not to say anything in that regard just to see what would happen. Looks like the media is going to react regardless. 51% escaped and left Simon behind, so that was a pretty common one. I mean... Was there a way? It says we saved Simon. So I guess there was a way just to leave him in the other room. 70% got Simon damaged. But we had shot the people. It looks like if we had gone with the loud and aggressive approach, we might have been able to save him because that guy would have been dead. And we probably all would have made it to the roof. Number 8, 2038. 6 p.m. All right, Connor, let's see what this lady has for us today. So we're still not entirely sure if she is an android or what actually happens inside of his mind, because he has like this whole little peaceful garden whenever he does his meetings. She's over there in a boat, but I want to see what this was first. I feel like that was something really cool for him and something that we did not get to see because I have no clue what just happened. All right, so let's go join the boat. I'm guessing we're going to have to row her around. And is she modeled after a human or is she a human that like designed Connor? What affiliation does she have to him is what I don't understand. And if Connor is supposed to be so covert, why actually have an Android outfit? Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. She likes us or hates us, doesn't really matter, she's neutral. We look real happy. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Pink. My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. Yeah, she's probably angry that we've basically let every single deviant we caught go so far. Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Sincere, determined, cold, or troubled. I thought I knew what I had to do, but now I realize it's not that simple. No use, the truth. We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. So I feel like she's still sort of on the side of she wants the deviants dealt with. And that's the best approach without her getting angry. Doesn't make progress soon. I may have to replace you, Connor. Indifferent or confident? I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Seventy-nine. Hi. Even when he isn't angry, 
Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Hmm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Which, once again, we try to do it a lot more quiet than this, so I don't know how we ended up just going in loud. He's managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. All right, so listen to the briefing. Check the rooftop. I feel like we know exactly where he's at, so we're probably going to stall for the rooftop and see what happens. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. <laughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Is that what I was thinking is, without his skin, he's got a serial number right there, so they shouldn't be able just to read it. Are you looking at his eyes? Blue iris, spare part. I feel like the barcode would be like the biggest clue. RK series prototype RK200 registered as Marcus. Gift from Elijah Kamsky to Carl Manfred. Well then, <laughs> know exactly who he is now. And let's see, so we got one more down. Other eyeball. Deviant head accomplices. Oh, that's interesting. Everyone can get the reflection in the eyes. See something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Hank seems to be a little bit suspicious. I mean, last time he pulled a gun on us, so it makes sense for us to not be completely honest with him. Blue Blood PL-600. Deviant hacked the broadcast. We had another one over on this side. CCTV. Marcus. See if you guys have been spotted. Right there, the guilty party. Okay, well, they didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. 
There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Here get the androids in the kitchen. All right, well, looks like we'll come over here. And I'm trying our best to sit here and stall so we don't actually have to catch Simon. Assuming he's still alive on the roof, I don't know. What of you tell me what I need to know? Guilty. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Witness memory diagnostic contact. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. How's your memory? Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. That's a lie. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Let's try to make a deal. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Retner guilt. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Now the one in the middle hasn't actually looked left or right. However, this dude over here looks suspicious. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Bluff torture probe memory. The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. I knew everything. Islands torture probe memory. Let's try to probe memory on you. You know, wouldn't this spread the deviant virus? or torture. <laughs> I wonder what is torture for an android? Are we about to split open his chest? Bio component 8451 regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back. You just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? Let's 
So I will say these two look innocent where this one's been guilty the whole time. Look out his eyes always like follow us around. These two look like they're just sitting in the same spot. I'm choosing violence on you. I know it's you. You're just a fucking deviant. Go on, admit it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd it go? I can't look. Hank! Hank! I need help. How much do we got? We got a minute 22. I know the vital component somewhere around here. I don't know what else to do. I hit the right buttons. I pushed him off. I don't know how we ended up getting stabbed. Come on, Connor, think. Like, I seriously don't see anything else that we can interact with. Did we just do it quicker than what we were supposed to? Hold the knife out. Come on, just crawl over there. Forty seconds. Twenty-seven. Have the part. Let's see here. Probability 40%. We gotta save Hank. Oh, don't tell me we died. Good thing you were here. Otherwise, I'd. Connor. There's no way we're dead. Connor, no. What? Did I just get him killed? There's no way. Next time, do not. <laughs> oh, man. I should have chose a different way. I just figured, you know, Hank had 40% chance of survival. Push him out the way. Apparently, that was a stupid idea, though. This 40% chance of survival for us. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>